Is it fair to say that we neglect the oil in our gearboxes because we always focus so heavily on the oil in our engines? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be changing the oil in my gearbox. I'm going to take you through the whole process on the TFSI engine. Hey, how's it going? I'm Kev and welcome to North Coast Workshop where you'll find content on car modification and DIY. Yes, for the ones that follow me on social media and my Instagram, I am back from Bend Armour Safely. I was on a friend's stag do for three nights and also a night in Aberdeen as well beforehand. All very messy. I, I can't go into too much detail. It's not really suitable for broadcasting on YouTube, but yeah, really good time. And I'm back and back to normality of work, family life and doing stuff to my car. So in today's video, what we're doing is changing the oil on the gearbox. It hasn't been done for about 50,000 miles on my car. I think last time it was done because I had a clutch change. And when the clutch was changed, obviously the gearbox was changed as well. As you can see, I've now got the car safely secured on axle stands so I can get underneath it, no bother. I've also had the car running out on the drive beforehand for 10 minutes just to warm up the engine and the gearbox oil as well and this just helps get the gearbox oil a lot faster. So for this task you'll need a bit of kitchen roll or paper towel or some rag. You'll need three liters of gearbox oil. I'll let you know later on in the video which one I've gone for and why. Which ones are recommended as well for this engine. Also you'll need a funnel in the end of a bit of hose pipe or fuel pipe. I've just cut a bit of hose pipe off my actual garden hose in the garage. About 60 centimeters in length should be fine. You'll need some brake cleaner as well, and this is just to clean the underside of the gearbox once you're finished working on it. Then you'll need a ratchet and a torque wrench. We've got a couple of adapters here as well, and a small and large hex or Allen key bit. Number 10 is the size you require. And again, I'll show you later on why I had two sizes here. And of course, you'll need a bucket or some sort of container to contain the oil when you drain it out of the gearbox. So under the car now and before we take out the drain plug, top tip here, take out the fill plug first. This is to make sure it comes out. The last thing I do is take out the drain plug, drain all the oil out and find out the fill plug won't come out at all. Old oil in there is a lot better than no oil at all. I don't know why I'm being so careful here, there shouldn't actually be any oil coming out of this hole but I was just taking it out carefully for some reason. Next up we're taking out the drain plug now and to drain the oil out into a container. As you can see, it's pretty dark in colour, it should be this dark, but I've seen oil a lot worse coming out of gearboxes. Give the drain plug a quick clean as well, make sure it's all nice and shiny again, and give the surface of the drain area a clean once it's all drained out. Then reinstall your drain plug, and you're looking to start this up to 23 foot-pounds or 31 newton meters. Now you might have to remove part of your induction kit to get access to the top of the gearbox with the funnel and the pipe. Then I popped them in place and from under the car I just grabbed the pipe and popped it into the fill hole of the gearbox. I then used a bit of tissue and just to hold it in place, stuffing the tissue at the top of the pipe, not the bottom. Obviously you want the bottom to be space so any excess oil can drain out. Once the pipe is secured in place and you've put cardboard underneath the car, lower the car down, it's got to be completely level on level ground now before you fill it up. Next up, start filling up your gearbox oil. So this takes just over two liters to fill up. So once you get to your third ball, start taking your time and filling it a lot slower, but your first two can go pretty quickly. So the gearbox oil I've chosen for this job is the Febby Belstein gearbox oil. It's a GL4 spec one. And on the back, you can see that it's got the Volkswagen part number that matches up to the genuine Volkswagen gearbox oil as well. I'll leave a link down below in the description for both gearbox oils. The genuine VW stuff is about two times the price of the Febby Belstein stuff and I have no issues with the Febby stuff so far. It's been working perfectly, but if you want to go for the genuine VW stuff, I'll leave a link down below for that as well. So onto the third bottle now, and as you can see, it's slowly starting to seep out from the fill hole on the gearbox. So at this point, you stop filling up completely, and then just go down under the car and gently remove the pipe from the gearbox. Now pop the fill plug back in, and this gets torqued up the same as the drain plug, so it's 23 foot pounds and I just used a slightly longer Allen key bit here because it wouldn't allow me to use the short piece. Then just give the bottom of the gearbox a quick spray with brake cleaner. This just gets rid of any residue from the oil that you've drained off. Oh, so that is now the gearbox oil changed on the car. And if this is a gearbox oil change you're doing yourself and you plan on doing more service items on the car yourself, I've got a playlist up here in the corner 
that covers your oil change, your pollen filter, your spark plugs, etc. So give that playlist a click. Thanks again for watching. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video and found it useful in any way. Also hit subscribe down below to catch more videos in future from the channel and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.